Queen. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Thomas Longman approached me a few years ago asking me if I wanted to help him to revisit this movie. I was in a very hard position because how can you remake something that's so good and that's also like such a reference for many filmmaker and myself first. And I said to Thomas that we needed to have the approval and we need to have the support of Bill Mustig who wrote and directed the original. We had to give up the studio. <laughs> uh, and uh, so we wound up shooting most of that ourselves. That's what's going to happen. That's really going to happen with us, yeah. 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 Like after 20 seconds, we have to be down. Yeah. I'm sure we're going to be still like resisting here. And then the other challenge in writing the script was to create the same level of fear because everyone remembered that all the movie was suspenseful and packed in tension. <laughs> For me, Frank was the obvious choice because of the way he knows to create tension, but mostly the way he knows to forget it's only here about the fear and the genre, but he can create character story. <laughs> My first reaction was, did, you know, does the world need another serial killer movie? And obviously the answer to that is yes. <laughs> It was important to have a, a really fresh take on it and to go somewhere which means very few movies have, have, have dared uh, you know, to go. And to see uh, the story from a point of view which very few films have done. Most of the time you're inside his head and you only see his hands, his, his legs. It's a very, very, you know, it's a big, uh, it's a big challenge. It's a really interesting, unique opportunity as an actor because I feel like my performance is a very multifaceted job on this. You know, it's my job is on set being a hand with Maxime and, and working out what the character's looking at and, and experiencing from that perspective. Cut! Yeah, we're cut. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> So You're right into the, the, the soul of the character. This film is a beautiful experience. It's a, it's a love story. It's, it's a love story. I just wanted to be in the head of someone that you can understand, that someone that you can have empathy with. Are we trying to authentic, authentically capture what happens in the mind of a serial killer? Perhaps not. I think that would be far too dangerous. 